So in our quest to understand everything about seed, we are going to look at another one of the big questions. So why did the seedlings, or why did we decide to leave Earth? Now, on the Klang website, it says, after the fate of Earth was decided, humanity looks to settle uh, somewhere else. So this would not have been a decision made very likely, and probably not unanimously between all the nations on Earth. There would have probably been a lot of conflict, and we're not sure what happened. If you look at the teaser video, you see that the population on Earth drops down from about 10 billion people to less than a million just before the seedlings, uh, before the pods are launched from Earth. So presumably Earth was dying, you know, if we made the decision to relocate or uh, to find another a place to settle, the Earth was beyond repair, was beyond uh, a way for us to fix it and find other solutions. Uh, if you look though on the visuals, it doesn't look like there's a big climate event, you know, it doesn't look like sea levels were rising or that the earth is covered in ice or some sort of dust storm, it just goes dark. Uh, maybe there's another event that we're not aware of, um, but earth seems to be beyond, beyond repair. And in the years leading up to that departure presumably there was a lot of conflict there were probably even wars uh, maybe there was uh, you know different factions being created different uh, ways of humans binding together not necessarily in nations or in countries but again we don't know but this could have a implication for the seedlings you know the premise of what happens when they land on this new exoplanet what is the grouping the community like is that determined by what we left back on earth uh, we don't know so on the clang website again in one of the blogs they mention the trappist one system which is a solar system about 39.6 light years away from our sun and it has potentially seven uh, planets that are in the habitable zone. Now the habitable zone depends on the size of the star and the temperature of that star uh, but that's the area where we are estimating that if a planet is in that area it's potentially um, habitable. Uh, by humans. Um, so in the teaser video again it shows the traveling time as 500 calendar years uh, not light years. So unless there's some incredible advances in the speed at which those seedlings can travel uh, it indicates somewhere very close but it's not clear exactly where. Now, if we look a little bit further uh, in areas that the Kepler Space Telescope has discovered exoplanets, we might look at uh, one of those planets, which is Kepler 186f, which is about 582 light years away, many, many miles. If you can pronounce that number, please post it in the comments. Uh, but that's a long, long, long way away uh, and a long way to travel. Now, presumably, before we decide to go there or send the seedlings there, we need to be fairly certain uh, as to what we're going to find there, whether that is a habitable planet. Um, and if it's that distance away, that would presume that we have some pretty astounding technology to make that decision, to have an understanding of what we will find if we send uh, the seedlings there. But maybe that's part of the premise of the game, is that we are sending the seedlings to a number of planets and we maybe just end up at one, uh, you know, as a lucky guess or as a lucky, you know, uh, solution that we didn't even think of when the seedlings were 
uh, launched from Earth. But again, it's something we'll need to find out once the game starts. So, at this planet, when we are sending the seedlings there, on the visuals it looks like we are sending a male and a female seedling. But to travel that distance and the technology needed for those two, if it's humans, to survive, uh, that would again be some pretty astounding technology to cover that distance and to keep uh, human beings alive. So presumably it's not that at all. Maybe we are sending some sort of technology there that can piece together a new type of being depending on the planet that they land on eventually. Maybe the seedlings are not human at all. Maybe they are some other form of technology just in the shape of human beings but again we we don't know that so when they eventually arrive there it looks like a habitable planet uh, it looks like it has an atmosphere there are plants growing there so it looks ideal for a human settlement but again there's some questions that the game will need to answer for us about the premise of exactly how did we end up there, what is there when we arrive, and whether the seedlings are actually human beings or, or not. Now you can imagine that in the time leading up to the launch of those seed pods, when this new earth was discovered, whether it was the only one, we don't know, but if it is, for example, a planet such as Kepler 186f, uh, there would have presumably been mixed reactions to the discovery of this planet and whether everybody was ecstatic about the solution or not, we don't know yet. There might have been a much darker period leading up to this launch with a lot of conflict between groups, between factions. Uh, again, we don't know. We'll have to see what the in-game backstory tells us about this uh, time before the departure because essentially we're leaving a dead earth we're leaving a planet behind that's gone dark um, with the assumption that we won't return to it but again we're not sure a lot of questions a lot of theories being posed on the discord channel so uh, come and join us on the discussion join the discord uh, look for the link in the show description and come and give us your view. Uh, let's discuss this because this is part of the game already. This period leading up to the, the launch of the game, we create groups, we discuss the possible ways of working together because that seems to be an integral part of this uh, game. So uh, if you like this video, uh, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to know more, and uh, come and join us on the Discord channel. Cheers.